Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, classmates. I am Miguel Magno, Bachelor of Science in Psychology. Our topic is all about um, combining bottom-up and top-down processing and how can I relate the topic to the given movie entitled Top Gun. Bottom-up processing is a type of information processing based on incoming data from the environment to form a perception. From a cognitive psychology perspective, information enters the eyes in one direction, sensory input or the, bo or the bottom, and is then turned into an image by the brain that can be interpreted and recognized as a perception. Bottom-up processing begins with the retrieval of sensory information from our external environment to build perceptions based on the current input of sensory information. Top-down processing is the interpretation of incoming information based on prior knowledge, experiences, and expectations. A top-down approach is essentially the breaking down of a system to gain insight into its compositional subsystems in a reverse engineering fashion. In a top-down approach, an overview of the system is formulated specifying but not detailing any first level subsystems each subsystems is then refined in yet greater detail sometimes in many additional subsystem levels until the entire specification is reduced to base elements in top down processing we know that previous knowledge experience and expectations are essential in creating perceptions about new stimuli so the driving force in top-down perception is one's previous knowledge experience and expectations by gregory in 1974 where areas in bottom-up processing no learning is required and perceptions are solely based on new excuse me stimuli from one's current external environment meaning that the driving force of perception in bottom up processing is the stimulus that is currently being experienced within one's external environment in Gibson in 1972. You can compare how bottom-up processing works to how top-down processing works by considering examples of how each process works. However painful, imagine you have just stubbed your pinky toe on the corner of the bed. Upon stabbing your pinky toe, the pain receptors in your toe would have immediately recognized the sensation of pain and sent these very pain signals to your brain where they are processed. This would be considered bottom-up processing as your brain is receiving signals of pain sent by your pinky toe's sensory receptors. However, now that you have experienced the horrifying pain caused by stubbing your pinky toe, you are now extra careful to avoid the corners of your bed because you remember how painful that experience was and do not wish to repeat it, which would be an example of top-down processing. The movie given is entitled Top Gun, which is a 
1986 American action drama film directed by Tony Scott starring Tom Cruise in which the played the character of Lieutenant Pete Maverick Mitchell a young naval aviator aboard an aircraft carrier USS Enterprise he and his raider intercept officer lieutenant Nick Goose Broadshow are given the chance to train at the US Navy's fighter weapon school at Naval Air Station during Maverick's first training hop he defeated his instructor but through reckless flying Maverick also becomes a rival to top student Lieutenant Tom Eisman Kazansky who considers Maverick's attitude foolish and his flying dangerous as Maverick's tendency to abandon his team and pursue reckless objectives makes him unsafe to fly with During another training hop Maverick abandoned his wingman Hollywood to chase a viper His instructor uh publicly tells Maverick that his flying is excellent but that he should never leave his wingman In another training hop Maverick's aircraft suffered a flame out on both engines. Maverick and Goose eject, but Goose hits the jettison aircraft canopy headfirst and was killed. In relation to the week's topic, which is the top-down and bottom-up processing, although the board of inquiry cleared Maverick of responsibility for his wingman goose's death he is overcome by guilt and his flying skill diminishes maverick continue to harbor regret with with what happened to goose so much so that he even considered walking away from the navy it was a defining moment in the film as it functioned as a turning point for Maverick who always had a devil maker attitude when it comes to flying same with the example earlier of stopping your toe the pain receptors in Maverick recognize the sensation of pain and sent this very pain signals to his brain where they are processed Now that Maverick's experienced the horrifying pain in Goose's death in the end of the movie, he become extra careful and cared for his wingman, which was Iceman in their tandem session by not abandoning his wingman. And that's all for today. Thank you and God bless.